The Earl and the Viking Queen have both established a channel of communication to each other which allows them to send one-way messages between them. The Earl is sending the Viking Queen a number of messages and wants to ensure that she knows they are from him, that she will know if they have been amended before arriving and that no one will be able to see the messages while being sent. Therefore he adds a number agreed between himself and the Viking Queen which identifies the established communication between them as well as the message number in the sequence of messages he is sending. He then writes his message to the Viking Queen, counts the number of characters in the message, adds the number of characters in the name of his ink hider and writes the number at the bottom of the page. Finally, he colours the message with the ink hider that was produced when he initiated the establishment of a channel of communication from himself to the Viking Queen. This ensures that no one can read the message. The Viking Queen reveals the message using the ink hider that was produced when the Earl initiated the establishment of a channel of communication from himself to the Viking Queen. She then checks that the message is from the Earl and that it has not been amended after being sent. Being happy that everything is in order, she writes a response to the Earl. To hide the message, the Viking Queen uses the ink hider that was produced when she initiated the establishment of a channel of communication from herself to the Earl. The Earl reveals the message using the ink hider that was produced when the Viking Queen initiated the establishment of a channel of communication from herself to the Earl. He then checks that the message is from the Viking Queen and that it has not been amended after being sent. Interesting. In the example, IP Securities Encapsulating Security Payload Protocol is demonstrated. The number which identifies the established communication from the Earl to the Viking Queen represents the security parameter index. The number is different in the Viking Queen's reply as it refers to communication being sent from her to the Earl. The message number in the sequence of messages the Earl is sending represents the sequence number. The message itself represents the payload data which is encrypted as demonstrated in the example by the Earl using the ink hider that was produced in the security association initiated by him. When the Viking Queen replies, she uses the ink hider that was produced in the security association initiated by her. In the protocol, padding, pad length and next header are encrypted as well. Padding is used to expand the encrypted fields if required or to conceal the actual length of the payload. Pad length indicates the padding size and next header identifies the type of data contained in the payload data field. The number of characters in the message combined with the ink hider name represents the message authentication code. In the protocol, the MAC is produced using the message or packet and a shared key as inputs which provides authenticity and integrity. The encryption of the message or packet provides confidentiality protection. The Earl and the Viking Queen can safely communicate in this manner.